Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. Today we're talking about the new Natasha Denona Golden Palette. The packaging is absolutely stunning. However, the fingerprints that it conjures aren't, is not, it's not stunning. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty inevitable. I feel like you're just gonna have to keep cleaning it if you really want it to be perfect, but it is gonna get a lot of fingerprints like as soon as you touch it, but it still is a very cool rippled effect gold packaging. It's very pretty. I still like it. It does have removable pans on the back. A nice mirror and here are the shades. I know some people weren't that excited about this palette because they did also have a gold palette which also featured some greens. I think they really wanted to do a more monochromatic type golden palette as well. Plus feature some of their new formulas which I am a fan of. When I used the I Need a Nude palette I said I want more of these types of formulas. Just the very shimmery glittery ones for instance like these they're so reflective the pearls in them are gorgeous I love it <laughs> some of the other Natasha Denona palettes don't have like this reflective type of shimmer formula so that is what I'm most excited about these types of shades are shades that I will wear all the time. I know I'll get a lot of use out of this palette. I don't own the original gold palette. I heard that some of the shades are repeating from the past. So I made this purchase based on I know I will use it like daily because I did the I Need a Nudes palette, but this one's more warm tone. So it's gonna be great for the summer, as well as we have those really reflective shimmers that I absolutely adore. So for me, this was a no brainer. I will get use out of this palette as like an every day palette. I purchased mine from the Natasha Denona website and you can use my code glitter and it'll take like $10 off or something like that. So it'll make it a lot cheaper. But also right now they're giving away a free makeup bag to go with it for Pride Month as well. So I would purchase it from their website because of those for sure. I really like it. I'll show you some of the swatches. Some of these are more cream-like formulas. Natasha Denona tends to have those creamy formulas as well as some shimmers and then the really sparkly shimmers which are the ones that I really, really love. And then we also have some regular kind of more pigmented metallics because the ones that do have kind of the glitters in them they do have a little more of a sheared out background, but what's cool is you can either apply them like that or you can apply them on top of the more pigmented metallics to make it extra sparkly, which is kind of what I did today. I took one of the darker shimmers that didn't necessarily have a lot of sparkle to it and then I topped it. So you can use them as toppers, you can wear them alone for kind of more of like a wet shiny look effect. <laughs> now I haven't worn this palette out in public yet but when I wore my I Needs a Nude uh, last summer a ton I got so many compliments about how sparkly my eyeshadow was and it was because of this formula. So if you are a sparkle fan and you are a neutral fan I think you will like either of those palettes. I love the I Need a Nude palette so for me this was again kind of a no-brainer. I understand this isn't for everybody. This just for me would be like this is gonna be my go-to palette obviously like the mattes blend out flawlessly. I also love how some of the shades I didn't expect to have as much deep pigment do. Like even the shade here I thought would be more light on me but it actually could be a crease shade. So I feel like even for warmer skin tones these shades will work for you as well. You're not gonna get like too many versatile looks out of this. You're gonna get a few different variations but for the most part it is kind of more of a monochromatic color story so you're not going to get anything super fancy. Again just kind of like a nice go-to warm everyday neutral type of palette. Let me know if you guys picked this up or if you plan on picking it up. They also launched a beautiful lip gloss as well as a beautiful highlighter palette. I would have bought the highlighter palette but I didn't want to spend all that money <laughs> but it looks beautiful too and I have a feeling that it also has kind of those reflective shimmers in it which I absolutely love but I don't necessarily need it at this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in my next video.